Hello AWS friends and welcome to this lesson where we're going to do a Lambda deployment. Like in our last example where we created this deployment to EC2, the first thing we're going to need is a target for our deployment and this time it's going to be a Lambda function. So we're going to switch to Lambda and create our function. Again, you're going to find all files for this example in my GitHub account and the link to my GitHub in the resources section of this lesson. Now let's create our function and we're going to name it code deploy lambda. I'm going to use Node.js and I'm going to say create function. Here we go. Now you can copy the code from my GitHub project and paste in here. I'm going to say save. And we are also going to create a alias and two versions. Let's start with version number one. And as you can see by now, we have our version one. We're going to create by now a alias and gonna name it code deploy version. We don't need a description and I'm gonna say this is with version number one. And now we're gonna make a small change and create version number two. So let's change the code, but first we have to change to latest to make adaptions here in the code editor. And we're gonna say code deploy lambda version number two, save. And publish new version number two. We can also test our function. Let's create a simple template. We don't need any of these input parameters really, but they also don't bother. And now let's test and see if we can see our output version number two and it will return version. Okay, this is 0 0.2, but doesn't really matter. Now let's switch to version number one and test. And here is our version number one. Now we are prepared and can switch to code deploy and create our application. This time it's Lambda and of course we have to choose here on the compute platform AWS Lambda. And also we have to create a deployment group because our compute type is Lambda. The deployment group looks a little bit different like with EC2. Going to enter a name, my Lambda group. We can use our created role. This is code deploy role for Lambda. And we're going to keep this default settings here and say create deployment group. Before we're going to create the deployment, let's have a look in the app spec file of our project, of our repo. This is a very simple YAML file. For, at least for this example. So we have our resource, our lander from type function. This is CloudFormation syntax. And as properties, the name of our lander function, the alias we just have created, and the two versions, the current and the target version. And this means we're going to deploy version number two um, to our lander function. So the current version is one 
and the target version is 2, we're going to deploy version number 2. Let's verify the current version is number 1. As you can see, write our alias points to version number 1 and the active version is also version number one. So by now we can switch back to our deployment. But first let's upload our app spec to S3 and I'm using my code deploy bucket. And now you can find my app spec here in my code deploy S3 bucket. Now let's create our Lambda deployment. We want to deploy version number two, deployment group is clear. We have only one to select. So the revision, my application spec file is in S3 and this is the app spec. The file type is YAML. We don't need a description. And I'm going to say create deployment. And this was pretty fast. As you can see, the deployment was successfully. Before we're going to have a closer look on this, let's switch back to Lambda and verify the deployment there. So as you can see, this is our active version, it's number two, and it's also the alias is pointing to version number two. And now we can use our test function and see version 0.2 is gonna be returned. Also, one more note, this example just deployed a existing version, a new version, but already existing to really create or compile or check out and deploy a new version. We will going to need code pipeline. We're going to see examples like this in the code pipeline lessons. On this page, you can see the three steps of the deployment pre-deployment validation, traffic shifting, and post-deployment validation. We didn't use hooks in our simple example here, but you can define two hooks in the app spec file. And these are before allowed traffic, used to run tasks before traffic is shifted to the deployed Lambda function version, and after load traffic, used to run tasks after all traffic is shifted to the deployed Lambda function version. Use the hooks section to specify a Lambda function that code deploy can call to validate a Lambda deployment. You can use the same function or a different one for the before allowed traffic and after allowed traffic deployment lifecycle events. For this reason, you see these two additional steps here. The pre-deployment validation for the before allowed traffic and the post-deploy validation for the after allowed traffic. For our example, only step two was important, the traffic shifting. The traffic shifting process, which you can see on the right, depends on the deployment configuration. We already have seen there are multiple configurations for Lambda. Lambda all at once, Lambda linear 10% every one minute, Lambda linear 10% every two minutes, Lambda linear 10% every five minutes, and so on. This way you can determine exactly how the traffic is going to be shifted during the deployment. Now let's make a second deployment because there was a bug in our version number two and switch back to version number one. Here we can see our deployments. We can select one and this is our Lambda deployment. This was our first example, the EC2 on-premise example. And now I'm going to say copy deployment. And I'm going to make a change here. I'm not going to use Amazon S3. I'm going to use the app spec editor to keep it simple. 
going to switch to YAML because we had a YAML file. I'm going to paste our app spec file in here. And the last time we deployed version number two. So I'm going to change this. The current version is number two and I'm going back to version number one. Deployment description is not necessary and say create deployment. It should start immediately. Again, it succeeded. And we can have a look in our Lambda and see version number one is active. And also use the test button to verify version number one is active. Yes, it is. So that's it for Koki Bloy for Lambda. Thanks for listening and see you on the next lesson.